Welcome everyone. My name is Frank Overton. I'm the founder and CEO of Fast Cat Coaching. And in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of our brand new analytics dashboard. We're very excited to share this with you because it's your one-stop shop for all your training and wearable data in one simple view. Let me give you a quick tour of the highlights and then I'll dive in deeper as we go along. And then if you stick around till the end, we'll let you in on a little secret about this dashboard. Okay, and then also as I go along, if there's anything that you wanna see from your data, please let us know in the comments below because we're building this for you. And I can tell you that FTP and critical power are on the way as well as a predictive improvement AI chart. So stay tuned for that. But right now I'm going to get to the three main things. We have a consistency calendar over here. We have your recovery score over here. And then we have your weekly progress over here. Let's talk about your consistency calendar first. This is also what controls the view on here. You can click the various days and that tells you your recovery on a per day basis and then your weekly time as well. Let's go back to today. Now we have a motto at FastCat. It's called make it turn green. Call it your mantra. But if you ride your bike and you do your best to follow your training plan, you're going to get a green. And then when you ride for seven days in a row, these green circles fill in. They become a pill. And then we keep track of your streak. I have a 48-day streak going on. And that is the number of days I've followed my training plan in a row. And the more you ride, the more your level goes up. So we have level here. Level is the former training load and then also the former CTL metric. The more you ride, the more your level goes up and then the higher your FTP becomes. And we all know what happens then. That's when you really start to enjoy your cycling. Now we have a final model at FastCat. It's uh, if you can follow a plan, you can ride faster. Bonus points in the comments if you let me know what movie that's referenced from, but it's so true. So if you do your best to follow a plan, you make it turn green, your level goes up, we know that you're gonna, you're gonna ride and improve. And that's what we're trying to bring to you here with this dashboard view. Try to streak, try to increase your level, try to follow your plan, use Coach Cat when you can't. That's the name of the game. Below your streaks and your level is your workout for today. And then historically, if you go back to yesterday, I had a rest day. And then if you go back to Tuesday, you can see here is my group ride and here is my ride stats. You can click on this. That'll take you to your post-workout recovery. You can see all your metrics, my power data, my GPS colored map here, my time and zone, and the GPS elevation trace here. Going back though, let's move on to your recovery. I didn't have wearable data because my Apple Watch died. But so this is your recovery. This is where we combine your sleep and your HRV data from your wearable with your power data from the day before to give you your recovery score on a per day basis. So we measure how much training you've done and how much recovery you've achieved. We Our algorithm measures that out, helps you balance it. And every morning you're going to get a recovery score. So today I'm 90. And then over here, I get a recovery analysis from the AI. It measures, it gives me a synopsis of my sleep and my HRV as it relates to my seven day baseline. Then it gives me, here's the workout I have today. I have a sweet spot three by 15. And then this is the money part where just like I would if I were your coach, I ask you how you are feeling. And this is your chance to acknowledge that you're going to follow the plan or ask for a training plan revision because life gets in the way. And we know that you may or may not have an hour and a half. And this is also where you can change. If you're not feeling three by 15, you want to do two by 15, you can ask for that. All you got to do is come down here, click the chat, Make your request here. That's your recovery analysis. Now you can click on your sleep here to dive deeper into the metrics. This takes you down to your chart. That's also the same chart. If you click this here, right here in this little thumbnail, you can see that I got 8.3 hours of sleep last night. I averaged, my seven day rolling average is 8.1. That's pretty good for me. I'm having a good week of sleep. You can look at your one week sleep here. My rolling seven day average is 7.6. And then on a monthly basis, I've been averaging about seven, also 7.6 hours of sleep per night. Similar for HRV, I achieved a 93 last night, a 94 the day before my rolling seven day. This is my seven day trend, 66 milliseconds. And you can see how that relates to my monthly HRV trends. This is really important because we all know that you can have a great race or workout 
even with a poor night's sleep or a poor night's HRV. So our algorithm and the way that we present to you your recovery score it removes the chances of false positives leading to that negative anxiety that you can get if you're being fed, you're not recovered. We're not like that. We use the science and the trends. So anyway, this is your recovery. And then over here is your weekly time and zone. Let me walk you through some of the features here. So on Monday I did a, you can see an hour and 59 minute ride. And if you hover your mouse over the bar, you can see the time and zones. They're color coded and they're related to zones one through six here. So red is way in the top. And you can see that I spent 14 minutes anaerobic, 15 minutes zone in VO2 max, six minutes in zone four. And then also like similarly, 44 and 20 minutes in zones one and two. I did a two hour and 16 minute ride here. I took a rest day yesterday and we give you credit for that with a little check mark here. And then over here today, Thursday, you see I have a one hour ride. It's grayed out because I have not done that workout yet. But when I upload my data tonight, that will fill in bright, vibrant colors showing me that I rode for one hour or however long I rode. And then that is represented there. Now over here, you can see that I've ridden a total of four hours and 25 minutes so far this week. And I have 11 hours and 45 minutes planned here. So this gives you the ability, like if you miss 30 minutes on one workout to add 30 minutes back and then to track how you're tracking on a per week basis. So you can go back and look at your previous weeks here. I trained 13 hours the previous week, eight and a half the previous week, four and a half the week before, that was a rest week. I can go and look at my training for next week and show that I don't have a training plan applied. So what you can do is go and apply a new training plan and see that, oh, actually, so what it is, so I have next week I have eight and a half hours planned, and then the following week I have six and a half hours planned. What this is that is the total in zero, I haven't done any riding yet, so that's what you see there. All right, and so those are the three components. You got your consistency calendar, your recovery score, and your weekly progress here. Let me demo real quick, say for today, I got my sweet spot three by 15. Say I'm not feeling well. I feel great, by the way. I got a 90 on my recovery score. I had a great night's sleep. But let me just show you what you can do with the chat here. This is your opportunity to ask for a training plan revision. And you can say, I have, so I've already got a 60 minute workout. So I'm gonna change it from three by 15 to 215. Can you change, can't type my workout from three by 15 to two by 15 today? Question mark, boom. Okay, should I proceed with this change? It gives you a summary of what the changes are. Two by 15, I'm gonna say yes. One thing to really key to import, to remember, is to hit the refresh button after you've made a change. After you see it thinking, it's gonna give you the response that it changed the workout. There it is. So go back to my calendar. I'm going to see 3 by 15. So it's 3 by 15. So you hit the refresh in the upper right. Voila, 2 by 15 here. And you can also see that reflected in my calendar here. All right. So going back to the dashboard, this is everything that we have so far. Like I said, FTP, historical and future, the predictive FTP is coming. Critical power is coming. We have a lot planned. So let us know in the comments what you want to see from your data. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much. We're, we're really excited to bring this to you. If you would like to see what your data is, all you need to do is go to our website. The first 30 days is free. We'll build you a custom training plan. No credit card required. And then if you like what, if you like the AI, if you like the plan that you're on, you can subscribe and you can save 50% if you subscribe for the whole year and commit to your training all at once. The secret that I want to let you all know about is that we're going to make this dashboard free to everyone. So you may send all your data here. We're going to make it free. We're going to keep leaning into the product development of this dashboard. Let us know what you'd like to see from your data in the comments. 
and we're gonna keep developing this for you. And of course, if you're sending your data and you're finding value in the dashboard and then you wanna upgrade and then follow a plan and have some more structure into your training, you'll be able to do so here. All right, so thanks for watching. That's the dashboard in a nutshell. We're really excited to bring this to you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and good luck with your training. You know what to do. Work hard, ride fast, have fun. And as always, FTFP.